Hi there, I'm Ines, interior design blogger, sitting in lovely but very, very rainy France in the middle of summer. And these are my six simple ways to elevate your IKEA furniture to your individual style. We all know that IKEA comes to the rescue when we need practical, cost-effective and well-designed products. Their style is just versatile. It fits seamlessly into any space and that scandly charm is just hard to resist. However, there's a catch. As convenient as it is, it's easy to end up with interiors that resemble those of other people. We lose the edge. It's ordinary, it's boring, it's disappointing. You know what I'm talking about. Those billy shelves, ectorp sofas and coffee tables that you can spot a mile away. And honestly, that can be a bit of a turn off. While we don't all have the luxury to escape IKEA, we can still make it work by adding personal touches that can make all the difference. By the way, this isn't about hacking, painting or customizing IKEA furniture, as that can be quite a hassle and to be honest, I can't be bothered with all that. Instead, we're focusing on bringing some personal touches to IKEA furniture in the easiest possible way. It's all about keeping things simple and hassle-free, making your space uniquely yours. Number one, going neutral. IKEA is absolutely perfect for those essential furniture pieces that act as a solid foundation for our homes. I'm talking about bed frames, wardrobes, sofas, coffee tables, shelves, and the like. Sometimes it's just more practical to get everything from IKEA, while other times we can splurge on items from different shops. Look, there's no right or wrong approach here. It's all about what works for each of us individually. Now, if you're looking for a little guidance, here's a helpful tip. Try to skip anything too patterned and instead work with a clean, neutral base in terms of color. Those floral sofas are a no-no, but shape or style doesn't matter as it comes down to personal taste. And just remember this, neutral elements create a blank canvas that allows for more flexibility. Then use accent details as a fantastic opportunity to infuse your personal flair. Tip number two, starting the journey of collecting statement pieces. When I say statement pieces, I don't mean anything extravagant, rare, expensive or whatever. These are things that say something about you, that reflect who you are, your taste or your experiences. This will truly make your space your own, trust me. It's an enjoyable pursuit that can unfold over time. No need to rush it. This will help to take the focus away from the so familiar IKEA stuff. Look for objects like prints, illustrations and candle holders, anything that speaks to you and adds that personal touch, anything goes, as long as it reflects a bit of who you are, your taste, the places you've visited or your unique journey. The good thing is that these items can be small and manageable, making them easy to pack and transport if I have to relocate elsewhere. I've discovered how incredibly useful this can be, as I carried frames, decorative items and other stuff with me to relocate to different countries. Their compact size made integrating them into a new space a breeze and the moment I set them up, I instantly feel at home. Also, whenever I travel, whether abroad or just an hour away, I keep an eye out for art prints and illustrations that, that I like. Often I bring them back without frames so I can arrange them exactly how I want. These little treasures, as I call them, have been my constant companions, relocating with me from Dubai to Casablanca and all the way to France. They have become anchors of stability, no matter where I am. So, go ahead and curate your collection of meaningful items. Each one will bring you joy and tell a story of its own. Tip number three, introducing color. To breathe life into your IKEA neutral furniture and achieve a good look, Start by mastering the art of incorporating color. Begin by identifying a color palette that resonates with you. Once you've settled on your theme, carefully select accent pieces like wallpaper, chairs, cushions, throws, vases, lighting fixtures, rocks, headboards, side tables and ottomans that align with the chosen colors. Consider exploring stores beyond IKEA. Actually, skip IKEA altogether. 
Their accent details are too recognizable. I can spot them even on TV shows and movies. So mix and match items from different places, like Amazon Home, H&M, Zara, or even Etsy. They offer a good range of styles, patterns, and colors at affordable prices. Tip number four, developing picture walls. Gallery walls are the perfect way to create an eye-catching focal point in any room without breaking the bank. Whether in a hallway, living room, or bedroom, they add a personal signature to your space. The beauty lies in their uniqueness. No two gallery walls are ever the same. You know what? Let's steer clear of those matchy-matchy picture walls with the same exact frame perfectly aligned multiple times. I think like life is too short for that and we just need to get creative and mix it up a bit. The mix and match approach allows for creative expression, making each gallery wall a reflection of your individual taste and style. So unleash your creativity, curate a collection that speaks to you and watch as your gallery wall transforms into a captivating masterpiece that truly defines your space. Tip number five, decorating with books. There's something about books that just makes an interior feel cozy and sophisticated. Any books will do as long as they cover topics that speak to you and that you find interesting. Personally, I've got all sorts. Classics, rom-coms, interior design, marketing, and recipes which I've never actually followed, along with those coffee table books that are just too pretty to resist. You don't have to read all these books at once, just start building your collection. Try mixing up the sizes and colors to add visual interest. You can also intersperse them with decorative objects like vases, candles, or small sculptures. You can also experiment with different arrangements, stacking books both horizontally and vertically. You might even consider organizing them by color or theme for that harmonious touch. And the last one, tip number six, decorating with plants. Decorating with plants has been a journey filled with disappointment and frustration for me. My short story usually goes like this. I buy plants, I bring them home, then I end up overwatering them. Within a week, they are just gone. Now I opt for indoor plants that require minimal care, such as succulents, snake plants, or spider plants. And no, artificial plants are not an option. These grand companions add life and beauty to any space without the stress of constant maintenance. Don't forget to go for cool, interesting pots that complement the look, whatever suits your taste. I hope this post has helped you. For more content like this, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel or just visit my blog. Thanks for listening and goodbye.